Black hole environments are far more difficult than we thought. Black holes might be more complex than scientists have thought, according to a new study, which suggests for the first time that these mysterious objects might be exerting pressure on their environment. Known for their extremely powerful gravitational force that sucks in everything from their vicinity, black holes were originally believed to be completely inert. In 1974, famous cosmologist Stephen Hawking discovered that these superdense objects are in fact emitting thermal radiation. A cutting-edge supercomputer simulation created a pocket black hole with a suitable accretion disk, and the experiment didn't unfold as expected. A supercomputer at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee called Summit takes up the same floor space as a couple of tennis courts and weighs more than a large commercial aircraft. In certain cases, the machine can perform about a billion calculations per second, allowing it to simulate complex systems in physics, biology, and other fields. Recently, a team of astronomers used Summit to simulate a supermassive black hole and the swirl of matter, the accretion disk, that surrounds it, considering all of the attendant gas dynamics, magnetic forces, and warping of space. Their findings run counter to the traditional idea that a black hole dines on its accretion disk in a relatively leisurely manner. Instead, the team found that the simulated black hole scarfed down matter voraciously and effectively made a mess of its plate in the process. The results of the simulated black hole could help to explain a type of quasar that flares up unexpectedly and vanishes just as quickly. Quasars contain supermassive black holes that emit staggering amounts of light as they ingest large clouds of gas. Classical accretion disk theory cannot explain this drastic variation, said Nick Kaz, a graduate student at Northwestern University, in a statement. But the phenomena we see in our simulations potentially could explain this. Under the classical theory, an accreditation disk rotates in sync with a black hole and gradually falls below its event horizon, the point beyond which no light can escape. This takes a long time, between hundreds or even hundreds of thousands of years. The model black hole, however, ate at a lightning pace and cleared the inner, light-producing section of its plate in a matter of months, about how long it takes the shortest quasars to cycle. The simulated black hole yanked and pulled the very fabric of space around it, which caused the accretion disk to wobble. As it warped, gas from different areas collided and emitted powerful bursts of light. Eventually, the inner section of the disk broke free and started wobbling in a different pattern. This was evidence of the black hole winning out against the forces of friction, which would otherwise hold the disk together. The outer section collided with the inner one, and the added mass helped the inner to fall into the center of the black hole. Then the outer flowed into the empty inner section, and the cycle started over. The inner region of an accretion disk, where most of the brightness comes from, can totally disappear over months, said Kaz. We basically see it go away entirely. The system stops being bright. Then it brightens again, and the process repeats. If scientists can better understand accretion disks and how they emit light, they can better characterize the quasars and other light-producing black holes seen through telescopes. A new discovery, made by a team of scientists from the University of Sussex, UK, now hints at an even more complex nature of these massive space drains. Astronomers Xavier Calmet and Fulkert Kippers concluded that black holes exert pressure as they studied the changes in gravitational forces caused by the behavior of quantum particles at the edge of black holes and the entropy, or the available energy of that system. As they ran their calculations over and over again, an extra figure was showing up that they had no explanation for. Eventually, they concluded this unaccounted variable must represent pressure. Some theorists say the answer is most likely a ho-hum yes. I don't think we're going to learn anything more about general relativity or the theory of black holes from any of this," says Robert Wald, a gravitational theorist at the University of Chicago. Others aren't so sure. Are black holes strictly the same as you would expect with general relativity, or are they different? Asks Clifford Will, a gravitational theorist at the University of Florida. That's going to be a major thrust of future observations. Any anomalies would require a rethink of Einstein's theory, which physicists suspect is not the final word on gravity, as it doesn't jive with the other cornerstone of modern physics, quantum mechanics. Using multiple techniques, researchers are already gaining different, complementary views of these strange objects, says Andre Giz, an astrophysicist at the University of California, Los Angeles, who shared the 2020 Nobel Prize in Physics for inferring the existence of the supermassive black hole in the heart of our galaxy. We're still a long way from putting a complete picture together, she says, but we're certainly getting more of the puzzle pieces in place.
According to general relativity, these objects, eventually named black holes by famed theorist John Archibald Wheeler, should also exhibit a shocking sameness. In 1963, Roy Kerr, a mathematician from New Zealand, worked out how a spinning black hole of a given mass would warp into a spacitime. Others soon proved that, in general relativity, mass and spin are the only characteristics a black hole can have, implying that Kerr's mathematical formula, known as the Kerr metric, describes every black hole there is. Some physicists suspected black holes might not exist outside theorists' imaginations, says Seen Carroll, a theorist at Caltech. Skeptics argued that black holes might be an artifact of general relativity's subtle math, or that they might only form under unrealistic conditions, such as the collapse of a perfectly spherical star. However, in the late 1960s, Roger Penrose, a theorist at the University of Oxford, dispelled such doubts with rigorous math, for which he shared the 2020 Nobel Prize in Physics. Penrose exactly proved that, no, no, even if you have a lumpy thing, as long as the density became high enough, it was going to collapse to a black hole, Carroll says. Soon enough, astronomers began to see signs of actual black holes. They spotted tiny X-ray sources, such as Cygnus X1, each in orbit around a star. Astrophysicists deduced that the X-rays came from gas flowing from the star and heating up as it fell onto the mysterious object. The temperature of the gas and the details of the orbit implied the X-ray source was too massive and too small to be anything but a black hole. Similar reasoning suggested quasars, distant galaxies spewing radiation, are powered by supermassive black holes in their centers. Our finding that Schwarzschild black holes, static black holes without electric charge and angular momentum, have a pressure, as well as a temperature, is even more exciting given that it was a total surprise. Xavier Calmet, professor of physics at the University of Sussex, and one of the authors of the new study said in a statement, I'm delighted that the research that we are undertaking at the University of Sussex into quantum gravity has furthered the scientific community's wider understanding of the nature of black holes. The pressure exerted by the black hole, Comet said, is rather tiny. If you consider black holes within only general relativity, one can show that they have a singularity in their centers where the laws of physics as we know them must break down, Comet said. It is hoped that when quantum field theory is incorporated into general relativity, we might be able to find a new description of black holes. Fulford Kuypers, a doctoral researcher in the School of Mathematical and Physical Science at the University of Sussex, and the second author of the paper, added, It is exciting to work on a discovery that furthers our understanding of black holes. Our result is a consequence of the cutting-edge research that we are undertaking into quantum physics at the University of Sussex, and it shines a new light on the quantum nature of black holes. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day, and I will see you in the next video.